Okay, this is our third and final part with our talks with Coach Cody Alexander on coverages and different schemes that he uses. In this video, we're gonna look at bunch alerts. We're gonna look at a shakeup that he has to two read, as well as a bracket coverage that he runs. So if you do have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. We hope you enjoy this video. So just to finish up, here's a couple of tags that we have um, and that I think it's important. Like, so let's go back to um, FIB, formation and boundary. Uh, this is this is what we would we would tell the kids right here. Bunch alert. Do we treat it like a bunch or do we treat it like regular? You know, is the running back just blocking? Is it six man protection all the time, or is the running back in in, in the pass route? Are they running a bunch of stuff? Is two on the ball because they're running wide corner, which is just corner pick with a flat? Is two off the ball because they're running flood routes? Are they trying to wall us to get a flare screen? Try and get something going on. Are they running switch screens over here because they're trying to get kind of that 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 kind of create that alley block here, block here, arc him out that way that guy you know that guy catches in and works up. So what what are we doing? Or again, are they running it as a bunch? Are they running all their bunch stuff? Are they running spacing here with this guy out? Are they running a wide corner with the pick wrap? Are they are we getting our are we getting our different bunch combinations? So we we can give a bunch alert which really all bunch alert means is that we can start playing triangle coverage over here. Is it now we can have the boundary corner instead of playing like two read? Because if my big philosophy is I, I want the backers taking the back. I want the DBs guarding receivers. That's what they – that DBs are your best athletes. Let them defend the best athletes. I want the backers defending running backs. That's, that's, their, that's their, you know, kind of counterpart on the offensive side. Right. That's who I want them to, go, to guard. So what this allows us to do – really is to say okay look they're making triangles here anyway let's go ahead and play with it so if the running back comes out i sit here i'm gonna stay knowing that i'm getting the pick route and then i'm gonna outrace that guy to the corner you know I, I'm, I'm i'm gonna make sure obviously we, we want to be cognizant of, of the corner post but i'm gonna i'm gonna hold that guy knowing that hey look we basically have created a you know, a triangle with our wheel linebacker now who can, who can work in almost like almost think of it kind of like a playing Tampa two without playing Tampa two. Right. Um, but that, so that would be our bunch alert. So it ends up playing like we would just play triangle over the bunch. Um, the other thing and has been awesome for us has been the squat technique. Now this shows the corner just for visual purposes off the ball. Um, we can play regular cloud and we can play squat out of press i like running squat out of press we got i think three picks at midlothian uh, the prior year off of fade outs and fade bubbles because they thought the corner was going to trigger what we're starting to see now is these these horizontal pushes they're bait they're not they're not there for you they don't, they don't want to throw the bubble they don't want to throw the out they or if they do, they're kind of trying to create like a receiver screen off of it. So we're going to go ahead and press a point. And what we're doing is saying, look, there is a no cover zone under five yards. If it is under five yards, we are not covering it at all. And what we're doing is we're protecting that whole shot. So he's now going to press. So this is what it looks like. He's going vertical. He's getting in trail. It's basically he's got if you play two man, you're basically playing that two man okay, this out route is in five yards. This bubble is under five yards. The only thing that's going to bring me down is if the quarterback throws the ball, mm. right? So we've, we've had teams where, uh, and I've talked about this before in several occasions, we had a team that was playing us with certain bubbles and they were running curls behind it, okay? They had seen us all year that we were going to trap really hard on that bubble. And because we, we're just sawing people in half. You don't run bubbles on us, Okay. Um, that was one thing. You're not going to do it. So they were like, okay, we'll use your aggressiveness against you. Man, we come back out. We, we, we end up getting out off of it. We come to the sideline. First question I get is, can we play squat? Yes, let's play squat. So, you know, and that's the thing is like, look, we hadn't played squat, really like played it in terms of like we needed it. I would call, hey, they're not really throwing the out right here. Let's just go ahead and we're, th this week we're basing out a squat. Like it was just kind of like a deal. It, we, it wasn't one of those deals where it's like, we need this tag. Um, so we would call it, we called it, they ended up going away from it. And really what it did is we, you know, the quarterback ended up being the ball. I think we got a sack off of it. Uh, 
I think we got an interception off of it just because we were layering everything. And what ends up happening is as he gets vertical, that, that Jack sees that, okay, he's vertical. Now I push late. That's his rule anyway. So once he sees the corner kind of climb over top of him, he naturally can work out and it almost looks like we're running quarters, but we're not, we're running cover two. And so he ends up capping, he's under a trail, he's got the seam and then he's late pushed to that. And to me, that's one of the biggest tags that we've had. And it works really good out of press because you can run regular cloud press. Then you can come back and say, look, we're going to, they, they know we're aggressive. Now let's squat it here. And then they try and throw that whole shot and that corner never comes off. And that quarterback just throws it because where what's the quarterback told to throw in cover two? You throw it underneath that safety. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you throw it right there in that hole shot. Well, where's the corner? He's sitting right there in that that hole shot. So he ends up taking it. So that's the second tag that we normally do. And then finally, um, I think it, uh, if you can run some bracket, run bracket. Uh, it, it's it's awesome. Basically, if you if you've ever played three by one on the backside, you played cone. It's the same concept, but you're coning the number two receiver. Um, Sam has the outside eye. He's playing catch man. He's basically playing cone. He's got all a two up and out. If if two goes in, the the safety there is going to end up triggering down. He's going to have any kind of in route. So it's kind of like a robber concept. Uh, most people have played robber before, but they do it with the safety outside and the Sam inside. This is kind of reversal. A lot of guys that run it don't like it out of a um, an odd front because of that C area player. They don't want the rover coming down in the C. If you're kind of one that can, like, you know, with the oaky front or different things, if you've got a guy that's that's closing that C gap or it can be a force player there, it can be good for you. Um, but I think bracket is something that you got to put in your toolbox too. If you've ever played with cone, remember cone to the boundary side is if the corner's playing all of the fade, and then safety's playing anything that comes inside. Uh, and so to me, it's kind of moving that to what is the modern best receiver, you know, who's killing everybody. It's that slot. Well, now we're going to double that slot, but we're also going to be able to have, if he runs an out route, we can have that run support. We're not losing that run support. We're leveraging the out route. If you're getting beat in quarters by out routes, run some bracket, yeah. you know, um, and then again, you can play him right here. He's basically Meg. Yeah. Um, Meg, he, you know, I say mod right here, but let's be honest. Most of the time, if you run a bracket, they're not bringing that guy back inside. So, um, you know, he's got number one everywhere he goes. I just put mod because he was off. Um, but I, I would bracket is another one that I think that you could use in your toolbox.